in my last video I was talking about a 20 by 40 swimming pool that had inch and a half plumbing and we were trying to decide well what should the the filtration goal be for this pool which should be three times the volume of the pool every 24 hours as a minimum value and we were looking at a single speed pool pump or a variable speed pool pump running on maximum speed how much flow you would get how much it would cost in terms of power consumption per hour and after 24 hours of filtration how much water were you able to actually filter and what this was what this calculation was showing was a small reduction in the rpm will have a small reduction in the flow rate that you're able to achieve but it will have a fairly substantial reduction in the amount of power consumed and this was shown in this calculation here where after a year's operation at maximum speed your electrical cost would be 1434 for the year then on the bottom end if you went down to 2750 rpm instead of 3450 rpm you could reduce your cost almost by half basically so i just wanted to go ahead and actually show you these numbers in action here it's one thing to talk about them but i want you to be able to see them for yourself so i'm going to run through these different rpm values and then show you the associated electrical consumption and flow rates let's get started Three thousand four hundred and fifty RPM. Just over ten PSI. Seventy one gallons per minute. Top right corner, one point two six kilowatts, so one thousand two hundred. 60 watts and that's what we were expecting to see here all right let's continue on down the line here 3200 looking for 66 right there just over one kilowatt power consumption 6.77 amps at 230 volts and again that's what we were expecting it's on down to 3000 rpm now Looking for 62. There it is. It's 838 watts there. 62. 840 watts as that's written down there and now 2750 it's about eight and a half psi now instead of just being over 10. Looking for 56. We got 56 and a half even. Six hundred and fifty-two watts. It's just about what we've got here. So those are just the numbers behind the calculations here to show you that 
as a pool owner with a large swimming pool and a fairly limit limiting plumbing system you can still benefit from a variable speed pump i mean sure you could definitely make a case for running a single speed pump around the clock but it costs an awful lot to do that and even a marginal reduction in your rpm and a small reduction in your flow rate can have a pretty drastic reduction in the amount of cost that you pay to operate your swimming pool if you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can check out my website swimmingpoolsteve.com